Hi, my name is Chris Haas, also known as DJ Euphoric. I'm here with a tutorial, and um, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the different basics of ducking techniques between Renoise as well as Ableton Live. Now, there's a few different pros and cons between using each different program. Um, I find that the Renoise ducking techniques kind of seems a little thin. It, it, doesn't have a lot of body to it. So what I like to do is I like to actually route my Renoise tracks through Ableton and then I use Ableton's inbuilt processing and I use a sidechain compression mostly to do the ducking techniques and we'll see where we end up with with both. Okay so let's start off you open up Ableton first. Okay I'll just get rid of this. Uh, it's very, very important that you open Ableton first or else you're going to end up in a world of trouble. So, open up Ableton first, and what we're going to do is load up Renoise. And I do want the rewire, so I'll hit yes. Okay, and I'll just drag this down here for now. Okay, what I'm going to want, I'm going to want two audio tracks. This one will be my kick, and this one will be my bass. Okay, and what I'm going to do here, they're both going to come in from Renoise. This will be bus 1, and this will be bus 2. Now I also have to arm the in. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to hop back over to Renoise. Let me bring this back up here. And this will be kick. This will be bass. I'm going to need a couple samples here. So what I will do is I'll take this kick right here. And this bass. OK, and what I'll do is I'll just track out a small pattern here. You're not going to hear anything right now because I don't have the routing set up. So I'll just do a couple triplets to start. 4-4. Four, four. Just so we have a few different patterns here we could test it with. And bring in the bass. I already have my tracking set to four beats, so here we go. Okay. And what I need to do with these, I need to route these as well. So this is going to go to bus 1 for kick, and this will go to bus 2. Okay, so that's what we have so far. There's no ducking techniques involved at all. Um, it's really plain, really basic. doesn't sound good at all. So what I'm going to do here is the normal way of making a reason ducking chain, uh, what I need is a signal follower on the kick, and I need a gainer over here. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the kick pattern. These have to be pretty much opposite. So min, 100%, max, zero. Actually, let me set this up first. So set this to the base, to the gainer, and to the gain. And then I'll give you the decibels here. I'll drop that down to zero. OK. So let's see what we have going on here. OK, so it is opposite. Take a look at the gainer. So let's uh, try and tweak this up just a little bit more to sound a little better. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, we now have the renoise ducking pattern uh, ducking technique down. So let's go back over to live. See what's happening here. Okay, I have both channels bust through here in live. So what I could do, I could actually put a compressor on the bass pattern, drop that down, side chain it. 
Okay, side chain from the kick. Okay, so I need to turn off the side chaining over here. Actually, it's very simple. I just turn off the gainer. Okay, so it's normal pattern again. And to go back to live. You can tell if I put it all the way down, there's a very large amount of ducking. So I'll bring it up a little bit more. pretty much how I want it. Okay, so what I do here, I'll bring this uh, into group, and I want a little bit of reverb, just so you get that little sucking feeling. Let's find it here. Okay, here's the reverb. And I drop that into this group. So it's basically affected by the side chain. Okay, now you're not going to hear a whole lot because this bass sound doesn't have anything in the high end. So what I'll do is I'll bring it up to a different uh, bass sample. Let's see here. Let me just find something. Old school bass sample. There we go, we got some fat beats. Okay, so um, if you guys have any comments or anything, just get back to me in the comments underneath. Uh, if there's anything you need Hi, to my know, my name's Chris Haas. Anything you might have questions about, it might help me with making another tutorial. So this is my first screencast, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, goodbye.